All right, let us talk about wieners. I mean, play this video game about wieners. First space colony plans to develop its own army. That seems safe. Even though Spaces was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. Unbiased art- that is the least biased lead I have ever read. The first space colony, Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but if the law is likely approved, we'll have an army. We'll be able to defend our motherland from any terrorist threats. <laughs> I'm sorry, the lack of subtlety is hilarious. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let the outer paradise out. Oh my god, I just got the Metal Gear Solid. These guys really like Metal Gear Solid. It's Outer Haven. Or Outer Heaven. What? Those are actually two different things, aren't they? Because Kojima is... He's Kojima. <laughs> anyway. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Alice Rabbit is in space, too? Amazing. Alice in space! Woman marries anime pillow. Same. Nobody is actually surprised! I remember when a, a wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines. But even though I'm reporting on it, I can't think about how mundane it's become. I mean, we live in a world where we can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces. Thanks to these new technologies, the traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. It's kind of weird considering how much traditional relationship bullshit is going on in this game. I mean, I, they're trying to be a bit more open about, um, you know, there was the very non subtly implied trans person. There was the, wanna marry me? You can't marry your own son. Aww. Um, but I mean, all of the whole gender balance, I don't know how to say that, um, you know, gender equality seems to be largely, you know, we've got, you know, dumbass sexist guys, we've got women being a little on the whole mothery side of things. Things seem pretty stagnant, but I mean, we're supposed to believe anime pillows are, you know, reasonable marriage objects, I guess. They were right. The Republicans were right. You marry gay people, now you can marry an anime pillow. Why not? Um, I completely forgot where I was reading in this. Thanks to new technologies, traditional views on human relationships have changed so that someone marrying a little literal object feels kind of tame now. The pillow had some form of intelligence, might be someone different, but it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow. Get with the times, Grandma. <laughs> you know, my position on any of this shit is if you're not hurting anybody, go the fuck ahead. Why not? Yick. You know, I may not agree with you, but if you're not hurting anybody, you know, that's what freedom means. That's, this is America. And if you want to be something I don't like, if you're not actually hurting anybody, not breaking any laws, whatever. Who gives a shit? People need to give less of a shit. That, there's so many problems in this country and in, the, in this world where people give a shit when they should not. There, there should be so much less shit being given. Just in general. Just why? 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 If you hate those people, that you know, it doesn't really matter what kind of people, you know, um, religion, gay people, whatever. If you hate them so much, why don't you just put them out of your mind and just do your dumbass thing, and leave them to do their dumbass thing? You know, if you can't be empathetic, at least be apathetic. You know, that's that's my motivational quote for today. Yik 2, the final remaster, leads the video game charts. The newest remaster of 2016's Yik, a postmodern RPG, opens the- Oh, it's- is that a reference to, um, read-only memories, maybe? I don't know. Postmodern RPG. Uh, this has got to be a reference to something. Wait, no, there was a modern RPG- oh, I think I'm on the press list for that, actually. There's a- there's an RPG that's like, you're basically millennials, and it looks really cool, actually. I Is it Yik? Oh man, I, I completely forget the name of that. I think it might be this, I think it might actually be Yik. 
postmodern RPG. Has that not come out yet? Uh, it just kind of slipped my mind. I, I honestly just wait until games come out, unless I'm like crazy excited for it. I... I don't know, I'm just too into games at this point to like, well, that sounds weird, but... You know, I, I get so much gaming news and stuff. If it's not out, and I mean... I just don't follow stuff that close, unless it's like in my face. Like, I'm, if I don't follow the dev, anyway. Which, I follow like a thousand devs on Twitter, so I probably do follow the dev, come to think of it. I don't know. But I think it is Yik, too. Oh. I'm gonna have to look that up or it's gonna drive me nuts. I say knowing full well that in 10 minutes I'll have completely forgotten about this. Other titles this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku. <laughs> You're getting pretty blatant on that one. Project Remastered and Sting's Face Remastered. I wonder what their opinion of remasters is. Full chart including lifetime sales. Yik, the final remaster, 3.5 million. New! Hatsune Miku! 1.5 million. New! Sting's Face. New! Water Pro Wrestling G. Oh my god, it's Fire Pro Wrestling. Dang it, Ron Paul. No way, no way would dang it, Ron Paul sell that low. If, um... I don't know. Oh wait, it, it did sell above. Wait. Oh, I guess it's not new. I was gonna say, I don't see dang it, Ron Paul um, selling below Stein's face. But I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'm just biased towards dang it, Ron Paul. Very good games. Even though I'm let's playing a video or a VN right now, I don't I don't think I'd ever do dang it Ron Paul. Um, just, I, I'm not sure I would have enough to say. Like, I, well, I didn't ever plan to do this one, and look how long it's been. So I I had a poor idea to start or doing this might have been a poor idea, but people seem to like it. I'll I'll see how long how good the lifetime views turn out to be on this series before I judge too much. It's been an interesting change of pace anyway. That bar vodka, bleh. Lots of tangents lately. I don't know. I, it's a series so long, I kind of got to talk about stuff. But, wow. It's seven minutes and I haven't even gotten to work. That bar, Carl Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to run wine under work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Her, everyone is in need, just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. Rude. Rude. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems like a more of a bro. I see you all already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances, smiley face? Nah, I just heard from the distance. <laughs> Tildes. <laughs> That's not you have to say thing if the, things if there's two Tildes. So is that a no? Kind of. I mean, you're just kind of there to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet some new people. I smoke there? Is there a bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. I'm going next week then. That sounds good enough for me. So I'm full of myself? You are. Who isn't full of themselves? I mean, I'm full of my own organs, my bones, some some of my own bodily fluids. I, I am literally full of myself. I don't think there's any other way to be, to quite, be quite honest. So, let's go to work. Wednesday, December 28th. Let's hope Stella shows up. Ah, chill. I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers. It's New Year's, right? We need some. I guess. When firecrackers scare off the dog. Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll leave that up for a bit. We're gonna switch back to the cool one, though. Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds, and I don't care. Agreed. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Hey! He's a ghost! Anyway, let's start. Don't be a spooky ghost! We don't serve spooky ghosts in this bar, sir. Spooky ghosts... We, we tried serving the spooky ghosts before, and it, uh, it just resulted in, you know, pouring drinks on the floor. Time to do the thing we do. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. As far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it you know what made that noise? Let's just keep it whatever drone story you heard. Right. 
Always got annoying after a while, I must say. So it remained in the vicinity? How do you know a word like vicinity? I hate this guy. I don't know if that counts as in the vicinity, but yeah, distant explosions all night. Interesting. It didn't get far away. Hmm. Um. Now, get me a Mars Blast. Pizza with double cheese. Wait, no, this is a bar. It's Mars Blast, this asshole. Uh, Flanders Eyed. Cardamimes. Blended. Come on now. There you go. Here you go. Well, you didn't mess up. Sorry, if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. <laughs> Look at his Kawaii Desu eyes. Er, eye. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. Of course you can. He kills people for a living! <laughs> I don't have anything to say, but I can fight dirty. Jill, please. You make me sound like a savage. It would be like me saying you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. Like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? Might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try this suplex thing. Right. Alright, suplex thing. That one. For the dirt root. Oops. For the root. Flanders. Thingy. Crap. So glad we don't get charged for that. That would be very rude. Rocks. Mixed. There you go. Here. Good stuff. Less like a burning, but like a less burning but punchier pile driver. Say your face looks familiar somehow, Mr. Gents. I mean Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, <laughs> I keep making his voice sound nerdier every time. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe I need to look a specific file at. Did you, did you perhaps go through a nano machine, Expurge? I did actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that would feel oddly suicidal. So, why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? Second one. It's easier to maintain undetected when they have no means to track you or your activity. I see. How does the expunge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. After five hours, you're trapped in a bed while a horrible pressure builds up in your body and nanomachines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, your gums, your toes, everywhere. And after all that, they need you to plant with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What do you have in Jamie? This is a gut punch. I didn't even give you one. Hey, give me one of those. I guess Gil gave him the gut punch. Does Gil actually serve drinks or is he just kind of there being a fuckboy all day? Aged, mixed, have your cheap ass garbage drink, you cheap ass piece of garbage. Yeah, I love these. It looks different from yours though. I added a couple, he does, he makes drinks. He does something. He, he is useful. Wow. I added a couple of extras in his. Oh, if you know what I mean. So where's that antibody unit they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times. The perks of not having nanomachines in the body outweigh the cons. How do you have synthetic body parts without nanomachines, anyway? And the rest of the enhancements, when you've reconstructed, you've been adding them over time. Over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Get out of here. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't can on it. Said that twice. Shut up. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. I didn't think, I didn't figure you for the sarcastic type, Jamie. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. 
Maybe you caught him on a bad day. Two bad days? Nah, I think you're just that good to bring out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. That tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That <laughs> way he'll be in a good mood, too. <sighs> Alright. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, Rocks. Mixed. There you go. Here. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. So it put you in a good mood. Oh, yeah. That. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dress like she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. <laughs> How do you dress like that? Uh, whatever. And to top it all off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to the court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So really messed it up, huh? Why, why did this make you in a good mood? When they came back to the house, Dana started drawing a temper tantrum. She said she was lucky her bastard husband didn't get the kids because the banks would make her jump onto the high wire. So Emma comes and says, The mixer kills you because we, we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. And I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but <laughs> why did this put you in a good mood? All of this is horrible. I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. And then she turned into a teen. Ugh, oh, teens. I hate those teens. <laughs> like 20% of my audience is teens. I promise I don't hate teens. Actually, it might be... I don't know. I'd have to look again. It's substantial, though. There's actually more people around my age, you know, mid-twenties. But uh, whatever. Teens. Hashtag teens are welcome here. Please, please do not go to other brands. I would like you teens to engage with my brand. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I can forgive all of that. I mean, the age difference and all. There's nothing particular I can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to the house, and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if it was her sister, and she said she had no little sisters. Ow. I think that was the moment I finally broke the pedestal and I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid can admire someone, you know. Little by little, that admiration wore off. Till we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? You're 50? How are you 50? You're... You're not 50. Hey. It's not that I held a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana said, who had said all these things so many years ago is the same Diana I know today. This game has some serious anime aging disease going on, if this is like 50 years old. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown, horny teen. So aside from destroying any admiration I had for her, she's made sure not to fix that expression. Impression. But enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, except from this note. Oh no. Remember how I told you I lasted at my dead, dead ex-wife's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Wow. She must feel really bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? Same fear that the same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give me a brand, teeny, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. She giggle Jill giggles at bad touch, I giggle at brand teeny. Aged mixed. There you go. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! No, oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew up disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon it became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. We, like, already went over this, Alma. Come on. With time, the girl would become attached to her eldest sister, looking up to her achievements. All I can look at right now are those boobs. Oh yes. Ghost titty. 
or ghost titty looking at. Not now. Said sister would even marry that girl's best friend on not soon after. And after the girl went to college, said sister would get her job. The, si the sister was worried sick about her baby kid being alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. And what if I hang her your high bit? What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and now she felt like part of her could crumbled. Hey Joe, I can lift your sweater. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough, enough. Shit. How do you even do that? Peace out. Get you, stupid spooky ghost. Uh, I mean, I know the, I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she'll be heavily disappointed. She's gonna try to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. She's nine. Come on. My mouth's dry. Can I get a bear? Right. Not sure beer is the best for that, but whatever. Here is your beer. Thanks. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get all along? Oh, yeah. Never had brothers and sisters, but once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law. She got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was just pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a small New Year's party this Sunday if you're interested. Or Saturday. Oh, sure, I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Because you're obviously the best at being a sister. Whew. I'll go take my break. Alright. Mwaha! You were there? That gill ain't right. You were quite observed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, you didn't hear? Anyway, call me something comes up. Alright then. Really hope Stella shows up. Alright. Oh crap. The 16th is tomorrow. I'm not sure if it was the Alma thing or the Stella thing. I guess we'll see tomorrow because it gives us a Chivo if we get the thing that does stuff. Whatever. Stay tuned next time for hopefully me hitting that goal and getting my, you know, not getting my ass evicted. That, that'll be nice.